Hello, this is David, the leader of Cicada. Cicada is an organization that was devised for the toughest puzzles in the world for the purpose of recruiting the smartest people in the world. To solve the puzzles, you have to find them. I ended up finding them by the way of a phone call. When I made that call, I soon became the spokesman of the United States military. You may be wondering why I now have a full beard. When I convinced the military I solved them, my computer started talking to me. They made me believe that I was talking to all the world leaders and it eventually got to me. I believe Melania wanted me to rest and to get strong again and I wound up in a nursing home. I have now been lying on my back for the last three months thinking about the things that I have done. One of the things I liked the most was when they sent two brand new Porsches after me. My Tesla was no match for them and I left them virtually standing still. The speech I am about to speak is mainly for Vladimir. I believe I was talking to the real Vladimir Putin. What would have happened if I would have taken your offer? I turned down $100 million, and I turned down your offer. Now, when I leave the nursing home, I will have nothing. I have learned a lot, Vladimir, and I never give up. So this speech is for you. To General Putin, that was not fair, attacking me at my weakest point. You destroyed me, and now I have no direction to turn. I need and want your discipline. I am still the leader of Cicada. I know you've watched me from what time began. That will never change. I surrender to you. Please, let's talk about this. I need someone pushing me through the tough times. The general was that man for me, and now you have been able to silence him to get to me. You win. That was a good strategy. This is the leader of Cicada. It's been very quiet with nothing to write about. A long time ago, when I was running for governor, I was completely on my own with Catherine helping me. I was running a program about social anxiety disorder. Now we all have it to some degree. These last few weeks, I am understanding just how bad a, a disease it really is. When one has acute social anxiety, you also have extreme anxiety. It can be brutal. I thought I had it under control, but you really never do. I knew this day would come where I would have to stop hiding and come forward. Anxiety is a disease that attacks the nervous system and your body will just start to shake violently. You will become scared and angry. You would do things that you would not normally do. With me, I just became violently scared, thinking that I am going to die. You don't want to eat. If you can't learn to control it, it will drive you crazy. It's the reason <clears throat> we have so many shootings. When I ran for governor, I stupidly solved the cicada puzzles. I thought I was having fun. I thought I was having a lot of fun taking down Donald with a cheese story. He was worried about passing a lie detector test. And I told him to soak American cheese and vodka together and to store the cheese in room temperature. So what did he do but buy a thousand pounds of the worst smelling cheese there was? He of course stored it in the White House. Then I helped Kyoko with the submarine, and I helped Jordan and the Crown Prince. But then I ran into Putin. I thought I had him, but he was much stronger. He reminded me about my social anxiety disorder, and I am now trying to recover from it. I've just spent eight grueling days in a psych ward, and it might have been jail. Now I am free, but I am having trouble. I learned a lot when I was there and I was trying to figure out if it was real or just a training program for me.
When I was in the hospital, I was very scared with a lot of anxiety every morning. I would cry out, and I could not eat. I thought I was dying. I could not leave my bed. I stayed in bed most of the day and only ventured out in the evening. They gave me medicine, but it wasn't working. I would let, lay in bed shaking. When they gave me Ativan, I was able to get out and eat and talk to people. To my surprise, I gave two pounds. I met three very nice women. Sylvia I liked the most. I gave my phone number to Lisa and I enjoyed the company of a woman named Ruth. They all had anxiety very badly. It seems that sooner or later, everyone has anxiety. The anxiety took the best of me. The last few days, I laid in bed thinking about what I have done. I was trying to reassure me that I really did what I did. I started to think about first was the phone call that I should never have made. My troubles began shortly afterwards. I am not sure in what orders it came. One of the weirdest was the parties that took place. My computer person every day, every Friday, I believe was going to these weird sex parties. It began when a woman approached him and he was told to videotape or take pictures. He would always come back with beautiful women and a wild, impossible story. He claimed once he went to the job or and back and it was gone only 20 minutes. That was the first contact with Cicada. Schaumburg was a 40 minute trip just one way. Then they would always bring back clues and a description of me. Then on the last party they showed a can of Dalmate stew to Nick and said the leader only eats the stew and they had dimples all over his stomach. At that time, I was only supposed to eat the Monty stew. And shortly after that, I was told that I was the leader of Cicada and the king of the Arcurians, and I was god of the universe. Then the general called me and asked me, do we do Beirut? And I said, no, of course not. NBC reported that evening that I saved Beirut and the world and stopped World War III and saved millions of lives. That's when I supposedly started talking to the general shortly after that. He started testing me. One of the tests was to observe and I was supposed to have picked, up, picked out three different items. Catherine told me to close my eyes and when I opened them I saw the first item. It was so funny, I could not believe it. It was a couple in a pickup truck pulling a speedboat going through one of these drive through Isn't that crazy? The second one was a car coming in it and they pulled over in an obvious way that was not normal and an attractive woman came out. The third was, I believe, was a black BMW with darkened windows. That was, that was the beginning of our relationship. The general gave me many more tests like that one. One time we were sitting at Wendy's and three cars pulled up right next to us. The first one pulled in only an inch away. It was so obvious they were trying to hack into our computer system. We waved to them in humor and they pulled away one by one. Then they sent us a picture of a beautiful woman on our phone. According to the general, they caught all three of them. Another time, a car pulled up right behind us in Woody's parking lot. They thought they were, we were transferring billions of dollars and they were trying to steal it from us. There were many assignments like that. I remember setting a trap with Donald and Joe Joe and Vladimir came to, in to rescue us by me and three straight state troopers drive by at the starting point. Then there was the time where three limos pulled up to Nick and the rest, and the first one came out and handed him an envelope. 
and it had two flash drives, each one with a secret code. The code was for my room. Shortly after, Catherine announced that we were married. She removed my poster in my car, which was impossible because it was a Tesla. There was no way to break into Tesla. And then she erased the name of my mailbox and taped a yellow piece of paper with our initials on it. Then, she, then the same one appeared on our next door, the exact same way. She would do things like take a water bottle from my car and then put it on my mailbox, telling me she was going to do it. What started my difficulties with anxiety was that I was told I was going to receive a package for a few days, and I got too anxious and curious about it, and I unexpectedly ended up in the psych ward for four days. I was forced into taking medication, and they were fucking me over with the wrong drugs. They forgot that I was over 60. Ever since I started in with Grandmere, I lost it. He did a dirty trick and talked about my social anxiety disorder. Now I, now I have extreme social anxiety disorder. I know that Ben would ne never have stopped communicating me, with me on, the, on his own. And it must have been part of the negotiation tariffs after I was finished with him. I am sure that Glenn Melania and the general decided it was time and I got more socially active. I wanted that as well, but not in the, in the way it was done. Taking away my support is not really a good idea. They thought it was best that the general doesn't respond any longer to my comments. He can listen, but that is all. When all three things occurred, my body just shut down and wouldn't eat. So now I am slowly starving to death. The first four days in the hospital this last time, I thought I was dead, or certainly heading dead in that direction. Then it got a little bit better, and was at least able to drink it sure. This morning I was so weak, my brother-in-law called 911, and I was taken to St. Francis. This time they gave me food, medicine, and liquids, and I now feel pretty good for the moment. It's been a really tough journey now. I understand when you get mixed up with those kind of drugs, it's a roller coaster to ride with your emotions, especially when you take the wrong ones. One of the most outstanding things that I kept talking about is when I tried to negotiate with the Crown Prince. The original talks, the general wanted to give him 10 planes with missiles to help him protect his country. I agreed with that, and when I told the Crown he told the general that he wanted only the missiles. Of course, the Crown used the missiles on us, but we still reached an agreement, an arrangement later. The Crown apologized to me, told me, and I agreed. And he was able to talk to the Pope, and everything is fine now. My point is this. CNN did a report about the treaty after the attack was given. I knew it happened a day or two before. He lost them. How was that possible? Only one man would have to had the know that knowledge. And then would be General Patton. And right after that, the crowd rushed into his favorite son under house arrest. The same day, the crowd asked me to talk to him. So I did. It was very tough for me, but at the end, I was able to figure it out. That morning, there were news stories on how I helped. Then the following day, the crowd bought a $500 million boat so that they could go fishing. The final solution is how my computer can talk to me and tell me anything about anything. I don't really understand who was behind my computers, but the voice knows where I am all the time, for that is obvious for me. Someday I will understand. But for now, I am slowly recovering from my anxiety over this. So to Vladimir Putin, I should have taken your first offer of surrendering my life to you. I now surrender to your terms. I would like to stay in Chicago, but I will obey your commands if Melania lets me. 
I think that is what the two of you are. The past 12 days in the hospital was extremely intense and brutal, and I know, and, and I thought I was going to die. When I woke up this morning, I was so weak and scared, I thought it was over with. I know you want me, General. I played by your rules, but you did not give me any further instructions and no way to respond back. I have been giving my phone number out, and because of you, I have lost most of my shyness, at least with women. I would not be in the least surprised if Sophia was one of your spies. She got awfully, she got out awfully quick. I am ready for you now, Vladimir. I need some kind of discipline or training program. I am a U.S. citizen, General, and that will never change no matter where you take me. With your help, I could be that president. If I become your best agent, you can make me that presidency, and together we can control the world. To General Patton, I am very serious. I would like to at least hear your voice once in a while. We were at least family for a short time, and I loved you and how you supported me. I miss you deeply. I can handle things much better if we could negotiate a little bit so I can understand. I am half human and half Arcturian, and that's difficult enough to handle on your own. The toughest thing, General, is that ever since the first hospital stay, I have not even hardly have had an erection, let alone sex with pneumonia. I think part of this is that you're testing me to see how strong I am. I am learning. I am serious, Vladimir. I need discipline to get through this. I saw the wars in the Middle East, especially with Pakistan. I deserve better than this. Vladimir, I am now in a nursing home, and I have been here for two months and will be released in a few weeks, if not sooner. How would you feel if you lost your presidency and your family and were thrown in jail in isolation? That's what took place with our negotiations. I am still the leader of Cicada. I am learning a lot about who I am. We have common goals and interests together, and I know you will never give up watching me, for I have something you want very badly, and we both know and understand what that is. I am still the leader of Cicada, and supposedly Melania's wife. Let's work together. You wanted me more socially active. What better way than to put me into a nursing home where I had instantly two roommates and I had to work together with a bunch of insane, crazy people, which I had no idea how to deal with. Let's work together. Thank you.